Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and we're going to try to finish this album up today. We're going to put pockets in, tags, pulls, all kinds of things. So before we start completing the album, I'm going to give you a flip through. So this is the album in its completion, other than me putting some pictures in and maybe some little bit of embellishments here and there after the photos go in. But this is our front cover. We've got a little pocket here that we made in one of our earlier videos, and I thought it matched pretty good with the paper. And then we have this that we can pull out and journal on and stick back in there. This is just a little piece cut out of the paper collection that I put across the bottom so I could slide those things into, and then just some various flowers and leaves and things that come out of my stash. So that's the front. And then the inside, we cut this out of the paper collection. I just glued it on two sides. And then I put this little piece of ephemera in there. We put this little journaling spot in there and we just sewed around it with the sewing machine that I got sent to me by Magic Fly. And I will have that link below as well as a discount code too. This is a little pocket that we've had for a while that we sewed around and then it's just a little tiny flat pocket and I just put some embellishments on it and I've got that stuck right in there. This is another little piece of a journaling, it's a scrap piece and I made a journaling tag out of it and I've just sewn around the edges and then there's a little tag that we put at the top and I put bling on a lot of my little tabs just so they'll kind of stand out a little bit from the paper. Each one of the pockets has a journaling tag on the inside or a photo tag. I call them journaling tags but they could definitely work for more photos. This one I'm, I haven't decided what I'm going to put on there yet. I may put something else on there not sure. Here's a little pocket that has a little booklet in it that has lots of journaling spaces and more of those little tags that we got from the paper collection that I will be telling you about here shortly. So this is just a little booklet that we made and I'll show you how to make it in the video and that slides right back down in there. That's just a piece that was cut out of the paper collection, just some ephemera and a little lace piece there and then there's the tag for that one. These two I've not really put a lot on, not sure what I'm going to do there yet. That one has the little tag inside. This one has the flip uh, cascading. So there's our cascading pages. These will hold four by six photos and then it just closes with a magnet and I put a little flower there. This one is the one that opens up. It has a tag here. So there's my tag for that one. And it just slides down in there and I put a little flower at the top. I just used a Martha Stewart punch for these edges. That closes back up. There's a uh, little tag on the inside there and then I have a journaling tag or a quote tag, whatever you want to call these. I have those in there in that pocket. Uh, and then there's a tag in there. This one is kind of blank yet. I haven't decided. This is the little flip out folio. So there's the folio. I haven't put a little notebook in here yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a notebook or just put photos inside. So it flips out like that. So we just have that attached on the inside here. And then there's our little uh, tag stuck in there. This is just a little um, like a library pocket stuck there and I've just, just got a little brown tag stuck down in there. Not sure if I'll leave that or replace it but I just got a little tag stuck in. There's that one there for our journaling. And then we have the triple flip here. So that flips out that way and that way. And then this closes over with a magnet to keep it closed just like that. And I'm going to do a little bit more embellishing on here. I haven't really decided what yet. Probably some flowers and different things. And it has a little tag on the inside there. And then the back has a pocket and a tag as well. So there's lots of places to journal. Lots of places to put photos. And I absolutely am in love with it. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to start adding my photos. But you can see it is very chunky, but we've got plenty of room in here for all of our photos. Lots and lots of room. All right, let's get into the video and I'll show you how I finish this up. 
And I know some of you read on Facebook where I said, uh, I posted a thing that said allergies versus Rona. How do you know which is which? <laughs> I, I have since deleted that because I had so many people that messaged me and asked me, did I have cr the coronavirus? No, I don't have it. I have allergies because we have so much pollen here. It is, our cars are this thick in pollen. It's just yellow everywhere. So uh, Saturday, we spent some time outside and that always gets me when we do things like that. But no, I don't have corona. Thank the Lord. I am well, I don't have a fever. I just have some allergy symptoms. But anyway, I am I am in contact with my doctor. If some of you saw my doctor posted below <laughs> below my comment and <laughs> said that I, that I was not sick with coronavirus, <laughs> it was kind of funny. But then again, it wasn't. That's why I went ahead and deleted it because I had so many people that just got all tore up about it. But no, I'm not sick. Nobody in my household is sick. Nobody in our shop is sick. We um, make them do temperatures and everything every morning before they can come in to work and make sure that they're not sick. They have to wear gloves when they're packaging your items. They wear gloves. They wear a face mask. So nobody is spreading anything. We're perfectly healthy, and we do thank the Lord for that. All right, now let's get into making, uh, to finishing up this little album. Now, what I did, I had a little pocket that I had made a while ago and I had sewn it together. And it's just a little flat pocket, just that right there. And it was just the right size to go in here. And I went ahead and cut out this out of the paper collection and then I matted it with that, a little scrap piece that I had. And then I put a little piece of lace on there. And so that's going to go in that pocket. And then so we can also put a tag Let's see, right in here if we want to. We can put another little tag, journaling tag in there. So now we're going to make, now I've cut this out of the paper collection as well. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just going to glue it on the sides and the bottom to make it another pocket. And then I have this little uh, journaling card. And I got this, and I will leave the link below. I went ahead this weekend, since we're having such a hard time getting any kind of shipments in right now, and I am just about out of paper, believe it or not. Not my cardstock, but my uh, pattern paper. I have, I have quite a bit, but it's older collections. I don't have any newer collections. And I wanted something new to craft with, so I went to... And the name of her it's Etsy shop, I start to say Etsy. The name of her Etsy shop is My Porch Prints. I'll put the link below. And then she also has discount codes over there too. So just look when you go to the main page, look at the different discount codes she has. I think if you order $20 or more of um, her prints, you get 20% off, something like that. But they, her prints are awesome. This is just one of the little cards that I got. I'll show you some of the other things. It was a ton of items for just $6.99, so I didn't think that was bad at all. This is an envelope that came out of the collection. The, coll the collection that I got is called uh, Grandma's Attic. And then these are the little pull tabs that I got. There's some more things. And then there's some more cards. And then I got all of the papers as well. Hang on, I'll show you some of the papers. I haven't printed them all off yet, but I did print a few that I want to use. Of course, there's tags and everything in this collection. Tags and envelopes. And then this is some of the paper. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Now this one, I'm going to have to go back and shrink it up a little bit. I forgot to change my margin and cut a little bit of this off, but isn't that pretty? So all of this comes in the same collection. It's beautiful. There's some of the paper. That's the same tag. There's some of the paper. And like I said, I did not print all of it off. I just printed a few sheets and I've got this much. This I absolutely love. I'm, I can't wait to use that. So I printed a couple of those, and then that one, and then I think that's all I printed for right now. And when you start to print, just check your print size and make sure you put 
uh, fit to print area or something like that. Every, every printer has something a little bit different. Mine just says uh, print fit to print area. And if I click on that, then it'll make sure that everything prints inside that print area. So just make sure that you do that if you um, go over there and get any of her prints. And also, if you do go over, make sure that you let her know that I sent you. It's not going to help me. It's just I'd like for her to know because I told her I was going to be showing this on my video today. And I'd like for her to know that I did you know, show on my video and that I am giving her total credit for, for this paper collection. So just let her know that I sent you. If nothing else, just send her a little uh, email through Etsy and just put um, referred by scrapbooking with me, something like that. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I think I'm going to put my lace down through here before I forget that I want to do that. So I want to put my lace right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this little edge off right here. And then I will cut this up here at an angle as well. She also has a YouTube channel and if I can find it, I will link it below. I think it's my porch prints as well, but I've only seen one time only seen it pop up one time but I think that's the name of it and if I can find it I'll link it below too she's she's a young girl her and her husband are doing a lot of these uh, digital paper collections and they're doing a very good job okay I'm gonna do this with my hot glue just because it's gonna stick this down real quick and I am my sugar's a little bit high this morning so I'm a little bit shaky so you'll just have to kind of bear with me uh, I have taken my medicine. It's just that being in all the time and not wanting to run to Walmart every time we run out of vegetables that I need to be eating. I've been trying to just eat whatever and that's not good when you have sugar problems. I know a lot of you do and you know what I'm talking about. So but it will come down. It's just that right now I'm going to have to deal with a little bit of shakiness for a while. All right. So there's that one on. And then I'm going to put that little green one, that little mint green one right on the top of it. So I'm going to lay that down right there. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm just going to trim this off on that end. And I will definitely use that somewhere else in the book, in the album. And I've had quite a few people that have messaged me and said they can't find the um, Easter basket album. I haven't done that one yet. I give you the PDF early. But I haven't completed that one yet and uploaded it. I will get to that just as soon as we finish this up. And hopefully, like I said, we'll finish this today. I'm going to try my best to. All right. So let's put this down. And I think I'm just going to glue it right there. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. We are just about out of art glitter glue. I think we have just a few bottles of the two ounce left. It has really sold this week. I know with everybody at home, they're crafting. So we have another order in, but I don't know when it will ship and how soon it'll get here because it seems like everything right now, all of our shipments and everything is on hold for a while. So we will get that to you just as soon as we can. And that fits in there perfectly. Look at that. Is that not cute? I like that. And I'm debating whether to put a little circle on there, a little half circle as a pull tab. I'll think on that one a minute while we work on something else. Now, this one, these two I have made to go in here. These were some scraps. That one will go in there. And then this one will go in here. 
and we I have pull tabs that I'm going to use on those but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around these now I know some people don't do the stitching that's fine you don't have to this is just something that I like I love the stitching look and I did get sent this little sewing machine for me to try out so I am going to try it out today I have never used a small sewing machine before let me show you this it's very cute but I've never used a small sewing machine before I have used large ones I have been a a seamstress for lots and lots of years but I've never used one this size so I have no clue how this is gonna work but we're gonna try it out and I'll show you some of the other items that comes with this little sewing machine and I'll give you a link if you want to check them out um, they were very kind to send me this just so that I, I could check it out and do a you know this is kind of a review on it so we're going to try stitching on this. Now it has a little pedal. Let's show you. It has a little pedal that comes with it. But this morning, I'm just going to use, it also has this little button right here. It's off and on button. So I think I'm just going to use the little button. And I really don't know. Let's see. One of them holds it on. So we can, I'm just going to try using that this morning to stitch with. So let's see what we can do here. And I'll probably mute this part because it sounds like it's going to be a little bit loud. Well, I think it stitched pretty good. I didn't go too straight, but it stitched pretty good. <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult when you're holding paper than when you're doing it on a large machine where you don't. And that's probably why I should use the little uh, pressure foot down there because that way I could hold both sides of my paper and not have to hold this... Uh, on and off button over here. So but that's a learning. That's it's stitched very well it Looks like it might need a little bit of Tension on the bobbin, but other than that Pretty good. I don't mind that at all. I Like that rough look of the rough stitching Around the the pockets. I like that. So we're going to go ahead and do this one and on th this time I am going to use the little pressure foot And when you're starting off with your sewing machine, and I know some of you sew and some of you have never, make sure that your threads are pretty long and that they're all the way back to the back. If you don't, your needle will come unthreaded. So just make sure of that. Now that is what we're going to have right there. And that's fine. I know my stitching is not showing on the top. That's fine. I don't, don't worry about that at all. It is showing on the sides, and that's that's all I need. Let me show you what else come with the little sewing machine first, and then we'll go on. And, of course, you have a user's manual that has quite a few important steps in here that you can take if you've never sewn before. And then you have, the, you get this little kit that has all sorts of threads and bobbins already threaded, a measuring tape, more needles, a thimble, scissors, a needle threader, and a little seam ripper. So you have all of that that come in it in the kit as well. And then it came with lots of extra bobbins and another needle threader and then another needle in there. Then it has this attachment that actually 
slides on here like that where you can actually have if you have something wider and you need to stitch you can stitch it that way and it just attaches it slides on and attaches with um, just a little clip there and then little pressures on each side little pressure dots on each side so you have that and then it also has a stand that stands up so that it won't so that when you let me get it back on again so that when you press on it it's not going to fall down so that is that so we'll take that back off and then it comes with its own pouch that you can put it in when you get through sewing so that it'll keep the dust and everything off it's a large pouch and it has a little drawstring on there so it comes with all of that i thought that was very very nice and so far, I mean, you know, you've seen it sew right there. It's pretty good. I don't sew a lot with my big sewing machine because I hate dragging it out. It's so big. It's one of those, it's almost an industrial type, and it's one of those that does embroidering and everything. And I don't have a really good place in my craft room to keep it set up all the time, so I just kind of hate to drag it out. So this might be something that I'm going to, be doing from now on doing a little bit of stitching I like to do stitching on my notebooks I like to do that I like to do stitching on my journals so that little sewing machine may come in handy so I want to thank magic fly for sending that sewing machine to us for us to do a little review on I really appreciate that and I know it, I have had it for a little while, and I told them it may be a while before I could get to it, and they were fine with that. They're very, very sweet, very sweet company. All right, now let's get these. I do have a couple of little pulls that I want to put on here, and I'm thinking I'm just going to put them right in the center. I'm not going to worry about trying to put them in a certain, certain spot. But the links to the sewing machine and everything will be below. I think I do have a discount code, too, that I can share with you. So if you want to check them out, you can. And I'm not sure that it'll ship to you right now since there's a lot of things that are not shipping. But you can still go over and look if you want to. Okay, let's see. Which one did we cut for which? I think this one for over here. Put that one right there. And then this one over here oh I like that I like 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 that very nice okay and we can add some more things on here like in you know little different little embellishments as we go along but I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through and do uh, our other pages right now in our little, other little pockets okay we put this pocket on, on the other day it's one that holds our little album this little pocket that has the little cut out in it we attached it on our last uh, video so I made a mat for that and the mat is cut at seven and a quarter by three and three quarters and I will put these measurements on the screen for you so that you'll be able to write them down so and I did go ahead and I just cut that little center part out right there just like I did before when when you're cutting a slant or something I just kind of tucked it in under there and drew out my little lines on this front part and then attached it on so we've got that there and then over here I did let's see I think I cut it for this one yes I did cut a little slanted pocket and I will put this in the uh, PDFs I will draw this out and put it in the PDFs for you because I just drew this not anything fancy I just drew it out and I'm going to attach it right there I think hold on let me see make sure that this is I cut all this Saturday and I was preparing to do a video and things just kind of got crazy around here and so I didn't do it let's see no I didn't okay I'll take that back I cut this to go inside right here on that side and then that I cut to go up there there's our little um notebook that's going to go here now I'm going to show you how I create these notebooks and 
I don't think that little sewing machine would sew through all of this. If it would, I would sew through the thickness, but I'm not going to try it on that one because it's a smaller sewing machine and I don't want to break the needle. But I cut my paper and this is the paper that I use. I use the Rodea paper and it's the dot pad. This paper is, I'll show you up close where you can see the dots. This paper is very good for uh, multimedia. It's very good for journaling. You know, you have the lines on there so you can do all kinds of journaling on there and you can keep your writing straight. I love, love, love this paper. So I just cut out quite a few sheets, just the size that I wanted to go in here. And let me see if I can get this size for you. This size, I cut mine at four and a quarter by five. I'd cut it at five and seven eighths, but you could cut it at five and three quarters and it'd be fine. So let's say four and a quarter by five and three quarters is the size that I cut it. Now I get my paper really, really straight at the top edge. I don't worry about the bottom. I just make sure that top edge is straight. I take my art glitter glue and as I have said before in my videos, I have never tried this with any other type glue. So I can't tell you that another type glue would work. I know art glitter glue works, but I don't know about the other glues. You can just try them on a scrap maybe and see. So just put a bead of glue down through there and then you're gonna rub it in with your finger. So just kind of press it in between those as you're holding that really, really tight like that and then just make sure that you don't have any on the front and back side and then i just take my little clips and i clip it together and these little clips they they're open enough that they're not going to clip to it where when you pull it off it's going to pull paper off and I have people ask me all the time where I get these clips. I've had mine forever and forever and forever. But I think I have a link for them below. If I do, I will I will link those below. So then I lay this aside and let it dry. And it won't take very long at all for it to dry. So let's lay it over there. Let's go ahead and work on our notebook here. So I'm going to slide that up out of the way. I've got a desk full of stuff. Now, let's see, I cut, trying to see what I cut for where. I cut this, I think, to go on the front of our notebook, just like that. And this piece is cut at five and a half by six and a half. So we're gonna put that right down there. Now I am gonna ink around all my pieces. You don't have to do this. I've said this lots and lots of times before. You do not have to do this. This is just something that I like to do. I like to do this because it kind of makes that piece look finished. It gives it a finished edge and not just a cut edge. Okay, so we're going to put that down right there. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and round off these two corners. If I can find my corner rounder in all of this. Y'all wouldn't believe the state of my desk if you could see over that way and over that way. <laughs> uh, I've got about five projects going at one time, so I've got lots of things all over. There we go. We're going to put that down right there, and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Now, I cut mine to leave quite a lot of that black showing all around because I liked that look, but if you want to just a small amount showing you can just adjust your size a little bit and i want something to go on the front of here i think and i have this little thing that's out of the paper collection so i think i'll cut this out and i'm just going to rough cut it and then i'll ink so that you will not be able to tell the difference so i'm going to fussy cut this 
So there we go. That is rough cutting, as you can see the edges, because this wasn't just like a square. It had a lot of different little edges on it. Then we're just going to take our ink and go around it. Nobody will ever know the difference in the rough cut or it's supposed to be this way because that ink finishes the edges off. See, there we go. So I'm going to put that down right there, I think. There we go. We've got that. Now let's go to the inside. And, and this little booklet, I want to say this booklet's on your template. I'll double check, and if it's not, I'll leave the measurements on the screen. But I, I'm pretty sure it's on your template or on your PDFs. So we're going to put that right there in the corner. And to cut this mat, all I did was lay a sheet of scrap paper down on here. And then I just pushed it all the way up and kind of trimmed around it. Or I, Then I just pushed it all the way up and just drew my line and then trimmed it out. That's all. Nothing fancy. There we go. Got that one. And let me see if I can push this up a little bit more so I can get this more in shot. I'm going to put this right down here. And I'm just going to glue the bottom and then up the side and then partially up this side. There we go. And now we can still put some tags and things down in there. I'll slide that one in there for now. And maybe that one. Just slide those in there for now. Okay. Oops. I forgot to put this down. Do, 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 do. Oh, well. We're going to put it down anyway. I meant to cover that top before I actually put that pocket down. I'm going to slide it in there anyway. Just like that. I think that will be fine. So we're going to put some glue on the back of this. See, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm trying to make sure I get all these pockets in here. Okay, I'm going to push it over as far as I can get it. Just like that. There we go. That was no problem. Then I'll slide those back in there. The background on this paper is a little bit different, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I kind of like that. All right. Then I cut a piece of scrap for this side. This mat is cut at five and a half by six and a half. So we're going to put this on this side right here. And I will just cut out all of this inking because I know a lot of people don't like to see the inking. So I will just cut the inking out and go straight to putting things down. Now I have already rounded two of my corners just like that. And again, I left quite a bit of the black outline showing there on mine just because that's what I liked the look of. So, But you can cut yours a little bit larger if you want to. And then I have, let's see, I think I have this cut for the back. And I'm going to round these two corners. I think that's the way it goes. Let's see. No, it looks like it goes that way. I'm going to round these two corners. And this is just a We Are Memory Keepers uh, Crocodile Corner Rounder. So... I've had it for a long time. I think they still sell them. I'm not sure. I'll try to link one below if I find one. I'm thinking that they still sell them. I love mine. It'll do a half inch or a quarter inch round. Now on these, I did the half inch. Okay, we're going to put that right there. Oh, I like that. Pretty. So we've got the little book covered. Now I think our paper pad is probably dry. It is. It's dry. I am going to put, I just cut a little piece of scrap paper. And this is cut at one inch by uh, a two and an eighth. And I just kind of rounded it. Oh, I laid it up here and just kind of rounded it over the corner of that, over the edge of that. 
like that. And I'm just going to glue that down. That just kind of finishes off our little book, our little notebook. So we're pressing that all the way down on there as far as it'll go. And then just pressing that glue in. And I'm just going to put glue right up here on this. I'm going to see if that's going to work first. And if it doesn't, then I can always just put more glue down here. But I want to just glue the top so that you'll be able to use the whole notebook, everything in the notebook. I think that's going to work. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's going to work. No problem. And I know somebody's going to ask. I, I probably used... 15 pages in here. I wouldn't go very much thicker than that because if you do, it's going to be a little bit too thick to slide back in your pocket. But that is that. Now, you can slide it in your pocket a couple of different ways. You can slide it in with the front part down in there like that, the opening, or you can slide it in like this. And I think since I put this that way, I'm going to slide mine in just like that. And I'm debating on whether I want to put just a little piece of lace out here. Just on the edge. That just kind of shows that this pulls out. I think that might be a good idea. Let's see. Let's cut this squared off. And let's see if it will work without get interfering with anything. Oh yeah, I think so. I think that's going to work perfectly right there. Now I'm going to use my hot glue again on this. You can use your staple gun or um, your glue gun. You can use whatever, but I'm going to use my hot glue. This is a little hot glue helper. It just takes that extra hot glue off of there so that you don't have a lot of hot glue hanging around to stick to something else. And it helps you press it down without burning your fingers too. All right, there's our little notebook in there. And then they can just pull on that little tab if they wanna pull that out. I don't have anything for this page right yet. We're gonna go ahead and finish the pieces that we do have. Then we may come back to that.